1765, Andrew Oliver has been appointed one of the stamp tax agents in Boston. Rumor spreads through town that in his warehouse on Long Wharf, the stamps have arrived, these hated stamps. The Sons of Liberty descend upon this warehouse and they tear it down with their hands, with crowbars and axes, two-story building. They tear down and throw into the harbor to show their disapproval of the stamp tax and anyone who wants to foist them on this community. And then they have a gathering down at the Liberty Tree and they invite Mr. Oliver and he comes and there's an effigy of himself hanging by the neck holding a sign, death to the stamp tax. And they ask him if he would like to resign his commission as stamp tax agent and he says, yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't think of it sooner. Now, his brother-in-law, Thomas Hutchinson, thinks this was a mistake. Hutchinson is the lieutenant governor. He's chief justice, and he thinks, if we give in to a mob, if a mob doesn't like the law and they bully us into not enforcing it, what kind of law is there? It's law by the, ruled by the mob. Hutchinson didn't think the stamp tax was a wise idea. He didn't think it would raise as much revenue as it would cost to enforce it, um, but Parliament had passed it. Now, word goes around that Thomas Hutchinson actually supported the stamp tax. Samuel Adams says Thomas Hutchinson thought of it. It was his idea. And Hutchinson and his daughter are having dinner at his home in the North End when suddenly they hear the whistling and the trumpet and the sound of these angry men outside. And his daughter says, Father, we probably should leave. And he says, no, well, you know, he's an official. He's lived here. His family has been here since the 1630s. And then they hear an ax hitting the front door, and they hear the windows smashing. And they decide that they better had leave, and the Hutchinsons left and went. Fortunately, he had another home in Milton to flee to, and then the mob ransacked the house. Uh, they really have fun when they find the wine cellar. They find his manuscript, History of Massachusetts Bay, and the documents he's collecting. They throw this out into the streets. They cut the eyes out of his portrait, and they absolutely ransack the house. Hutchinson appears the next day in court and he apologizes. He's wearing the same clothes he had been wearing the day before, but his house had been attacked. It's really a threat. It's a warning. The Sons of Liberty will commemorate August 14th, August 14th, the day of the attack on Oliver's warehouse, but they try to downplay the attack on the Hutchinson house, which seems to be a lawless, unprovoked, attack, and it doesn't redound to their credit, the attack on the Hutchinson house. Although, and it doesn't certainly doesn't cow Thomas Hutchinson into thinking I'd better placate the mob the way his brother-in-law had resigned as tax agent after his warehouse had been destroyed. 